Hello, welcome to Joyful Angel Oracle. I am Angelia Joy. Thank you for joining me. Today we have an individualized oracle offering for choices of flow, love, or dazzle. At this time, I'll open with the invocation. If you'd like, you can use this time to set your intention and focus your awareness. As the divine energy of love that permeates the universe and bonds all in one to guide each of us seeking into the highest truth we are ready to understand, and so it is. One more. Beautiful. And we'll start here with flow. Number five. Lady Titania. Be joyful. Celebrate yourself. There is no true happiness without joy in being who you are. Over this next moon cycle, the forthcoming 28 and a half days, many opportunities will come to you to play, revel, dance, and explore the moonlit and joyful part of yourself that has been truly too long neglected. It is time to come forth from the place where you have been taking shelter and quiet time and partake of the joy of good, sweet company. Know that everyone, including the beings of the Dragon Fae, is delighted and happy to know of your ability to delight in your own self. Celebrate, and we celebrate with you. Hail, joyful kindred spirit, and be welcome to the feast. <laughs> Here for love. <laughs> Beautiful. Melusine, love who you are, number one. Melusine speaks. Keys are rare in the realm of the spirit, but I now provide you with a key that will open the door to who you truly are. Your true feelings about self-worth and self-love have been hidden, locked away for years, but now they will be revealed and healed for all time, for there is a part of you you feel is not suitable to be shown to others, particularly in romantic relationships. You feel that this part of you is unacceptable and lacking in beauty. However, this part of you is being denied and is causing pain and guilt to surface within relationships where there need be none. You deserve to be loved for all of you for the parts that are clogged and thorned, for your lines and your grief, for your irritability and your sadness. I, Melusine, do not say go into these parts and stay there, but know that what you consider to be unacceptable is in fact part of your beauty, and true beauty is wholeness. Come forward and be revealed, and never again mistrust or reject a portion of who you are. Embrace your scars and flaws and see them as wonderful differences that only make you unique and very real. Open your heart, unlock the door, and step out of the enchanted chamber in which you have hidden this aspect of who you are. Love all of you, your body, your soul, your mind and spirit, your ancestry and your trials and challenges. You are perfect, whole, and complete with the unique stamp of this individual body and soul upon you. I will help you love yourself more truly and deeply than ever before. Take this key and unlock the secret parts of you. Let them see the light and know that you are safer for doing so than you have ever been before in any of your numerous lifetimes. 
so beautiful. And here for Dazzle. <laughs> Isn't she beautiful? Uh, number 19. The Wild Huntress. Face your shadows. The Huntress speaks. Ah, uh, I know I make people nervous. A little like learning to love the dark side, so it has less power over you. I too have struggled with my purpose to be a warrior and to create endings. I was once fearful of my own capacity to hunt and take what was needed, to search out with intention and harvest what was required. And now you must also learn to hunt, learn to care for yourself and to survive in the wild unknown. Sometimes you must make an ending of it, for this world can be harsh, and this is no creation of your mind. Oh, this world can be hard and cruel, and there are people in it who are not in integrity and to abuse their power. I change that. I was brought into being to be a huntress and provide for my people to protect those who were softer. And in order to do so, I cast away the virtuous mask so many choose to hide behind. For love comes in many forms, and my form is power in using it justly. So becoming a little more like me, through becoming a little more like me, through stripping away and killing off what is wrong and unjust in your life, I will teach you to seek and to hunt and to be an independent being of power. When something is over, it is over. I can help you bring about that ending, cleanly and without cruelty. My sword can give you strength and skill. My sword can be used to defend. My sword can set you free from the bonds and beliefs of the past. I will help you cut the cords of draining energy and fight the good fight. You, through this ending, can become a powerful healer with the compassion that empathy can bring without being compromised by your own beautiful, loving sensitivity. Every time you receive the gift of my sword in your reading, look to the area in your life that needs to be cut free. My sword gives you the opportunity to change your life. Allow me to help you and watch the divine magic that occurs as a result of compassionate action. I do hope you have a wonderful day. I hope these messages have resonated with you and you are able to take them into your life and, and allow the highest good to flow through you to all. And I love you. Be well. I'll see you again.